Uh, yeah, I mean, got to get it looked at. Um, felt it, uh, I guess, the third play that I was in there on the little scramble, scramble to the left. Felt it, didn't think much of it, to be honest with you. And then the next play, throwing that uh, the, the stop route to the field. Um, pulled pulled something, um, I guess you got felt a pull or felt something I've never felt. Uh, tough to, to walk on it at that point. Um, saw, the, saw the medical team and asked, could I make it worse? Um, at that point, they said I wouldn't be able to protect myself, and they made the call to hold me out. How difficult was that just to, to very. you guys are trying to rally? Very, uh, very. Yeah, very difficult. Um, I guess that's, you know, in, the, in my sense of just asking, can, can I make it work if I can't? Like, uh, know how, how much we needed this one. Um, yeah, I wanted to just get out there and compete, com- get out there and fight. Um, yeah, crazy. Clarence, I'll sit it down. So initially, you heard it on the run, and then got him. Well, you felt it on the run. I, fe- I felt it when I was getting up from the run. I can't even say that, like, I, I felt it running, maybe the tackle, maybe something on the tackle. Yeah, I don't know, but when I was standing up from that, I, I felt something, but actually, I mean, didn't think it was much. Um, you get tackled as a physical game, a lot of times you feel different things, and, you know, they kind of go away. And um, as I said, when I got to the top of my drop to throw that, uh, to throw the ball to Jalen Brooks to the right side, um, yeah, I felt something I've never felt. And, yeah, it was tough to, to, to walk on at that point. What's the mood of the team right now? One more time. What's the mood of the team right now? Uh, I mean, obviously frustrated. Um, obviously, I feel like I said that last week, disappointed. Um, felt like we could get this one. Felt like this was a great one set up for us. Um, yeah, and didn't get it done. Uh, for me to experience this, have this, um, add to the injury, CD getting banged up a little bit during the game, tough. Dak, when you say it's something you've not felt before, not had an injury, you know what you can and can't play through. Is there something that you're going to have to see during the week to know how long this could last for you? Uh, I mean, it's it's hard for me to say. I mean, I, I, I would say that I'll, I'll be out there next week. Um, once again, I've got to see. Uh, luckily, you know, I, I can say I've, I've healed fast. I've progressed fast on, on injuries and things. So I'm thankful for that. Um, Got to get a picture of it. When we get a picture of it, I guess we'll see the, you know, um, how bad it is. And it'll, it'll, it'll take a, a lot for me to not be out there, I'll tell you personally. John, John Michaud with the Athletic, you know, you talked about on Thursday being a must-win game for you guys. And then you talked about the injuries of you, UNCD, five losses. Just what gives you confidence that you guys can get this back on track? Yeah. Um, obviously, as I said, for me to be able to heal fast, um, so I said, I think CD was just banged up. Um, nothing, nothing serious there. Um, other guys getting back, being healthy, um, and and some games that are all within in front of us. A lot of division games start next week, right? Another, I mean, our second one of the year. Um, that sometimes this league, it, it just takes one. Um, it takes one to get it going, to get that confidence back, uh, to feel good, and, and rally from there. So um, not looking too far ahead. Um, it's about getting our bodies back and healthy tomorrow and then trying everything in, the, in our power to uh, put our best performance next week at, at home um, against a good Philly team. Nick Harris, four-star telegram, Jerry, mentioned that maybe a move or two could be made before Tuesday's trade deadline. Do you feel like a move or two could help get this team in the right direction towards uh, performing your best, as you say? Um, I mean, obviously with the injuries, um, I think, think some things could help um, for sure. Uh, where, where that is, um, leave it up to those decision makers. Um, obviously, if, if and when they, you know, get my opinion on it, um, uh, I'll give that. But but in the same sense, the guys, whether it's a, a one guy, how many other guys it is, um, the foundation of the team is the guys in the locker room. And so, so we've got to um, do better, um, play better, and and prepare to go out there and be our best. Um, I think a little bit of a little bit of intention, 
um, but then also uh, understanding that, as, as I mentioned, these guys were, were, were going to be soft in the coverage, um, which also gave us light boxes. Um, if, if it wasn't there, you know, whether it's getting it down to my check downs or using my feet to go get five, um, something that felt good. Um, was able to get the long scramble early on in the game. Uh, yeah, and it's just crazy that this happened on a, on a normal tackle, I guess you can say, that then I guess the drop back, not even sure exactly which, which moment did it. Um, tough. Uh, definitely a difficult situation, uh, me personally, um, being as close as I am with them, uh, wanting to help. Um, and I think this, if anything, this, this, it will be good. And I say that is um, obviously it was a mutual decision for him to not take this trip, um, whether, whether it's, uh, as he would said, you know, just getting himself together. Um, and I'd like to just see, you know, uh, us rally around him, um, be the teammates and the brothers that we are, and uh, and good will come from it. Backside needs to be played. Um, you guys had a false false start, delay of game, too many men in the huddle. With these issues pre-snap, what do you, what do you attribute the discipline issues to right now? Uh, I can't put my finger on it, to be honest with you. And that's one of the most frustrating things uh, about it is um, whether it's guys taking turns, um, whether it's us all not being on the same page, um, whether it's the cadence, the substitution, as you said, coming from the sideline, um, some very frustrating detail matters and key part of the games that when you do that, you're not going to win. Um, you're not going to win, especially not in this league against a good team. You're not going to win. So um, you just go back and look at those with the timing of those penalties when they were, and I'm not surprised that this is the outcome of the game. Yeah, I mean, a lot of a lot of this game is mental in that standpoint, so I'll be able to get those reps. Um, when you play this position, quarterback position, every rep's your rep, whether you're in there or not. Um, you, you saw with Coop been going in there and obviously giving us a chance and, and um, a guy that, that understands that exactly. So um, I, I know what it means to be able to, to watch practice if I can't participate, get the reps that I need to, the film work, all the stuff that I normally do, um, and, and then, then some. Uh, so... Uh, but it would be important. It would be important, one, just obviously to test the hamstring. Um, and uh, as I said, I look forward to, to doing everything that I can in my power to heal this thing up, um, get a couple of reps and so some reps in at practice, and then get out there next week. All right.